Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is DIY with Avi and today I'm going to show you how to make paneled wall art. Um, really fun, really fast and definitely affordable. Um, here are a couple of examples of the wall art that I have already made uh, to show you. And you saw a picture of them hanging on the wall. Um, those aren't mine, obviously. But um, I'm going to get into what you need to buy to make them and then we'll get into the directions. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to get into uh, what you need for this project. Please ignore all the clutter in the back that are, uh, those are supplies for more crafts I'm going to be making. And yes, I will film them. Uh, so what you're going to need to start is cardboard. Um, a lot of people like to use styrofoam, but I have found that cardboard does the same thing. Um, it's free, as long as you can find boxes anywhere. You're going to um, cut them into the size that you want. Most people do do 12 by 12, but I have a really large wall in my living room, so I did 14 by 14. Then what you're going to want to pick up, uh, a lot of people like to do scrapbook paper. I don't like scrapbook paper. Uh, when you glue it on, it's going to wrinkle unless you have a really awesome way of doing it. Um, I mean, especially on styrofoam. That just doesn't seem... Just, no. So <laughs> instead, what I decided to do, um, I was going through Joanne's fabrics and I saw in their, I guess, curtain aisle, um, all of these panels, and I got really excited. My eyes lit up, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I totally got this grand idea. Uh, I think they're for like drapes and stuff um, that were on hangers, hanging like this. And they there were tons of them, and some of them were samples for buying larger pieces. But the ones that were discontinued were two dollars each. So I know scrapbook paper is cheaper, but you're saving with the styrofoam already. So I thought I would just spring for fabric. $2 each, I got uh, nine of them, because I'm doing three, um, three and three a row of. So I bought all different kinds. I bought any colors that would match my living room, and I don't have one that matches that are identical, basically. They're all different, uh, and you can do that. You can just basically go with the color scheme of any room that you're doing this in, and they don't have to match. All they need to do is just kind of go together in the sort of color scheme that you have. So uh, I got nine of those, and I think that the quality of this is a lot better than using scrapbook paper. And you also would have to buy ribbon if you're using scrapbook paper to put around the edges of your styrofoam if that's what you're using. And you couldn't do that with cardboard. Um, you would have to fold it over because it's so thin. So that is the next thing you'll need. Um, if you can't find the panels like this at Joann's, just Go to any fabric store and buy um, yards of any fabric that you want. And you can do similar, uh, like the same pattern for more than one panel if you want. I didn't, but you can. So the next thing you're going to need is a glue gun and glue sticks. Um, then you're going to need scissors and or a knife. Um, you're going to need a ruler or a measuring tape. And push in picture hangers for hanging them up. I got them from Lowe's, <clears throat> excuse me, they're $2, and it comes with a packet of six, you don't need two, and that is all you're going to need. Um, in all, for this project, I spent $20, and I'm getting nine pieces of wall art. That is fantastic. So now let's just get into how to make them. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is cut out our panels. Uh, whether you do 12 by 12, 11 by 14, 14 by 14, however you want to do it. Uh, we're going to open this box since it's obviously not. Okay, so just go ahead and lay it flat like this. Um, you can cut these sides so it separates and you can have a smaller piece to work with if you want. I'm just going to work with the whole thing right now. Um, grab your measuring tape and measure out the panels all over the cardboard. Uh, this will probably take some time. It's a little more time consuming than the styrofoam, but in the end it's definitely worth it because you're saving money and who doesn't like to do crafts? Okay, so you should have cut out um, your cardboard. I did forget to mention, I'm so sorry, that you are going to need two pieces of cardboard for each panel. Um, you don't need that. You don't have to do it this way, but um, I, I just like the way it looks better than just one piece of cardboard. So um, you may need to cut some more. Uh, no big deal, really. I mean, cardboard's pretty easy to cut. 
Um, and then you're going to need just some extra cardboard. We're going to put spacers in between, so the cardboard is going to be a little bit more, uh, it'll be thicker than just the one one piece, especially since this will bend, it'll support, you know, sometimes the cardboard has fold, it'll support that and that won't happen. So now you're going to take just a random piece of cardboard and you're going to want to stick with the same cardboard for all of the spacers because some cardboard is thicker than others and you might have you know a thicker piece than a smaller piece and it might look funny so you're just going to cut it into a bunch of pieces for myself i do four separate piles and then i do four pieces of cardboard for each so i will show you okay so you won't really be able to see me here um this is what i was talking about when i said to cut the uh spacers Go ahead and set them in all of the corners. And you want it to be in the corner so it's got a lot of support on the, the edges. Then you're going to grab your glue gun. Uh, mine was already plugged in, but go ahead and plug that in. And what you're going to do is just glue all of these together. So we're going to go like this. doesn't have to be glued well um, in terms of how they lay. Nobody is going to see this, so don't worry about it. Okay, so you've got your spacers on. They won't fall off now. Now you're going to throw your other piece on top of the whole thing. So you're going to put lots of glue here, a little more than before, just to ensure that it stays. Go ahead and put that piece on top and push down over the spacers. Don't push in the middle because you are going to bend your cardboard. Just push down on the spacers a little bit just to get it nice and tight. And that is your panel. You'll see here um, that you've got a nice space so it's a little thicker than just one panel of cardboard. And you're going to do this for all nine panels or as many as you have. I do three by three on the wall so um, you're going to want to do that for each each one. Then you're going to grab your fabric, your first piece of fabric. Um, my panels of fabric were already pre-measured so that came in really handy. If yours aren't then you're going to need to go ahead and cut them but make sure you leave enough for to cover the sides as well as space to glue here. Go ahead and lay them down on their face and place your cardboard right in the middle. Now all you're going to do is uh, glue your first two sides. So go ahead and put a strip of glue at the bottom. Make sure it's right in the, in the center. Go ahead and fold that up. Now you're going to do the other side, and for this side, you're going to want to pull it. Uh, you're going to want to pull it nice and tight. I would say the cardboard is the thing that takes the most time in this project. The gluing of the fabric is really quick. So just fold that over, and just keep kind of pushing it down until it's really nice and tight all the way through. It'll kind of just slide on the glue as you push it down. And you know, hot glue dries quickly, so you kind of want to do it as fast as possible. So those are the two sides that are glued. Um, mine, my fabric did kind of come folded, so there was lines. I ironed it out. It didn't come out all the way, but when you pull it tight, it should go away. If not, you're going to want to iron your fabric really well. Um, so now we're going to do the last two sides, and th this is super easy. You just fold it like you would be folding a present. Kind of put it up first so you can get a sense of where your glue is going to go. Sometimes it doesn't go all the way to the end like the first side did. So I'm going to go to about here. I just mark it with my nail in there.
pull it nice and tight. If you pull too, too tight, sometimes it will, um, the cardboard will kind of come together and create like a smaller s space that would be on the sides of this. Um, you see here it's all pretty even, but if you were to pull really tight, it would squeeze together a little. So um, just keep an eye on that when you're doing it. Let's do the other side. One more side to go. Fold those in like you're folding a present. Fill it up to see where your glue's gonna go. See, I pulled it up really tight on the other side so I have a little less here, but it's fine, I can still glue it. So that's why you just wanna be real careful of putting um, your glue in the middle of your panel. So that way if you, you don't run out of fabric to glue it. Pull this over. So flip it over and that is your panel. How easy was that? Okay, so that is all. This is your panel and the next thing you're just gonna wanna do is throw on your push-in picture hanger. Um, the ones with the little teeth, it looks like a little arrow. So just push that in um, and when you're done, it'll be on the back like so and just hang it on your wall. And the good thing is you can use a small nail since these are really light and I mean, who wants big holes in their wall? And I think it looks really nice and quality uh, compared to using paper. So I hope you've enjoyed it and um, I hope it was easy enough. And just stay tuned uh, to my channel. I'm going to have more videos coming soon of some really awesome crafts. And if you guys have any suggestions, I'm going to put my email address in the description box below. Please send them to me and I will review them and see about making uh, videos on how to make them. And please share, please like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And um, I'll see you next time.